So how to tie a fixed Paternoster rig. Now this is a rig I've used for a long, long time. I use it for most of my still water fishing when I'm feeder fishing for fish like bream, skimmers, uh, roach and even carp. And also when I'm bream fishing or roach fishing on rivers. So it's, this is the rig here already tied. You can see it's a fixed Paternoster. I've actually got that around about five inches in terms of the length of the Paternoster. Um, the way I actually tie it is that that Paternoster is a loop. Uh, and actually tie the knot to show you. But I've got that Paternoster there. And then the tag end I use to form the line that I then tie my hook length to. And I like this rig because I find I get very, very few tangles with it. Uh, it's relatively strong. It's not the strongest knot, but most of the time I'm going to be using a shot leader, which is obviously far greater in terms of breaking strain than my hook length. So I'll never have any problems with it breaking. And it's a very, very quick method because I can change the feeders very easily and quickly. Because what I basically do is I loop the feeder that, sorry, I loop the paternoster through the eye and it means I can change the feeder very quickly. I haven't got an additional um, swivel. So for me, it's a very, very neat nut and a very quick way of changing the feeder. You could incorporate a swivel as well, a snap swivel like that. Uh, but for me, that's just adding more chance of something to tangle up. So I love the way that I can have a very, very neat attachment to the feeder, but also change it quickly. So what I think I'll do is I'll quickly retie it and show you how I actually make the rig. So in this case, I'm using a braid main line and a section of shot leader of our edge tackle sinking mono in six pound. So that's a really strong, robust line, um, takes a lot of punishment and really helps when you're casting. So you can really put all confidence into the cast uh, and also just gives me a little bit of stretch when I'm playing the bream, uh, particularly when I'm fishing a bit finer on a hard day like today. So that's the actual line that I'm using. So now I've just got my shot leader and I'm gonna tie my paternoster loop. I like to give myself plenty of room and I'm just gonna simply tie a figure of eight loop knot. Now we've explained how to tie this knot in other videos on our Edge YouTube channel as well. Now obviously the length of that loop can be dictated to whatever you want. It could be quite short. It could be just two inches, three inches. Could be a foot, whatever you want. Most of the time for my feeder fishing, I like to use a a paternoster around about five to six inches. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the loop with the figure of eight. So you can see that, just wet it. There you go, I've got my paternoster and I've got the tag end that I'm then gonna tie my hook length to. And I'll just quickly show you how I do that. So I like to leave that tag about two to three times longer than the actual paternoster. So I've got a stiffer line here to keep it away from the loop. If I tied my hook length quite close to that, you'll find that you'll get lots of tangles with the thinner line catching around the back of the paternoster. If you keep the same line on the tag well away from the paternoster, you'll reduce the amount of tangles you get. And then I'm going to use as a hook length today, this edge tackle pure fluorocarbon in 013, or to be exact, 135. I'm going to pull off a nice length of that for my hook length. So I'm probably going to go about three foot on that. Okay, so to join that to my tag end, I just do the same knot. It's that figure of eight knot that I use for joining two pieces of line together. I don't know if the camera can pick up on that, but that's the figure of eight knot to join two pieces of line together. Okay, so now I've got my hook length. Obviously I can tie my hook to that and I can vary that to whatever I want in terms of how the fish are feeding and the baits that I'm using. And I'll just quickly show you what I mean about how I put the feeder on to that loop. So instead of having a, 
a swivel with a snap swivel. I'm just going to simply thread the loop through the through the swivel eye. Probably could do with some specs. Okay, so I'm through, over the top, and back on itself. So I've got a really neat way of attaching the feeder to that loop, and one that can. I can change the feeder if I want to change the size of the feeder, if I want to change the type of the feeder from a cage to a standard open ender, I can still change the feeder very, very quickly. So there you go. That's my way of fishing a fixed paternoster feeder.